have you ever thought how our computer system works or do you have a question in your mind how they are capable of understanding our own human languages or what is the working principle of computer so if you have such questions in your mind keep watching so let's understand the working principle of computer actually the working principle of computer completes in three steps that is IPO where I stands for input P stands for processing and O stands for output so in these three steps our computer system works let's understand what happens in each and every steps initially our computer system receives input actually input is the data and instructions that we enter into our computer system so input is received by the computer with the help of input devices like keyboard or mouse so we use keyboard to enter data and instructions similarly mouse is used to give instructions with the help of click or double click or drag and drop Similarly, we have a touchpad in our laptop that is also used for giving instructions or input to our computer system. So the task of input devices is not only to provide input to the computer system, but also to convert these input informations in the binary format that is 0 and 1. And this 0 and 1 is actually the electrical signals that is uh, processed by our CPU. The CPU so, process all the data and instructions or the input information that is received by the input devices. After processing, the CPU generates the result and that result is also in the binary format which is understandable by the CPU only. However, the output devices like the monitor is able to translate such binary informations and displays the output that is understood by us. So we can see the output on the uh, display screen. If you want to print such informations, we can use the printer for printing the informations on the paper. And audio output is also given by the speakers. So in third step, we get the output. In this overall principle, there is another step uh, called the storage. Actually, the CPU access the input data from the storage unit. In this unit, there is the main memory called RAM. So whatever the data is entered, it is accessed by the CPU from the RAM memory and it also stores the temporary output that is later on displayed on the monitor so this is the working principle of our computer system so this is how our computer system works i hope you have understood so if you want to know more about uh, the input and output devices you can click on the right video or if you want to know about the different parts of computer you can click on the left video so see you in the next video till then bye bye